Man, what's good, man? Y'all live with Kane, the greatest host in the world, and today I got a very special guest. You got Frost God at TSF. It's him! Man, yeah. Talk to them people, man. Hey, man, everybody out here that's watching, keep watching. You right, feel me? Man, <laughs> he didn't even have to say too much. He said, keep watching. You know, I ain't going to give these people too much to wait for. We going to get right into it, my God. For the most part, for the people who don't know Frost God, what's a good representation of yourself that you could give to people? And how did you get your first start in the music industry? Can you repeat that for me one more time? Definitely. For the people that don't know Frost God, what's a good representation of yourself that you could give to the people how you got your first start in the music industry? Shit, I ran the faucet and it was leaking. A whole bunch of drip. Whole bunch of drip. Too much drip. Make it go crazy, you feel me? Nah, nah, nah. For the people that don't know me, I'm a producer, artist. I say engineer, but I, I might not record your shit. But you know what I'm saying? It's just, and I got my first start in the, in the game. I've been doing this since I was like 12, you feel me? What? I've been rapping, hell yeah, rapping since I was 12. And I always had a little buzz in middle school and everything, was doing my little thing. And then I, I graduated, I, well, I dropped out of high school, but I still took, I still took a diploma test. So I got that, then I went to Media Tech and I met Miyagi. And then Miyagi brought me to the studio and I met Walk when I was like 16. Whoa, 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 back that up, because you gave me so much information people won't even understand. So you telling me you met Miyagi himself? Miyagi, we and him went to college together. Ah, I was the youngest person in the college. college? You went to an HBC? Nah, uh, nah, Media Tech. Okay. Can you give a little bit of info on Media Tech? What was it about? They teach you how to the EQ compress, like the engineering side of things, run, run the boys, shit like that, show you how to edit videos and anything in the media. Pretty much, you feel like that kind of balanced out and helped you with what you're doing. Today. Hell no, that shouldn't help me out. What helped me out was, <laughs> what helped me out was doing shit by myself. What I never do, I always got my gang with me, so I be, I hold, I hold myself back. I'm, I'm in places I shouldn't be sometimes, you feel me? Okay. Understandable. Here at Industries TV, <clears throat> we do our research with the brands and artists catalogs. I had a chance to vibe to a couple of your old singles and new. And I would love to know, as a listener, what mindset were you in when you recorded Daddy, King Solomon, and of course the hot record, No Hood? I was high. <laughs> but the thing was, right, like, because I, I take, like, mental medicine, too, and shit, because I got, like, mental problems and shit. You know, mental health awareness, it's a real thing, too, Seriously, but I, hear for real. I was, I, I don't know, I was just high. I was high, and all them pills, boy, them pills make you just sometimes, you be stuck. You ain't, you're trying to rap stuck, it just be different sometimes. But yeah, but King Solomon though, I made that. I made the beat for my partner, Big Fat. Okay. But he was sleep on the couch, so I was like, "Fuck it, nigga, I'm finna, I'm finna go ahead and run this out right quick." <laughs> yeah, we be we be twenty four seven studio sound like twenty four seven. Other than that, if we ain't taking no sessions, you dig?